Maryland's Department of Transportation is the latest agency to update its mask policy. So effective immediately, masks are now optional at BWI Airport and on all Maryland Transit and Administration buses, trains, and mobility vehicles. The decision comes after a federal judge overturned the CDC's transportation mask mandate. We have already heard from a list of airlines, Metro Amtrak, VRE, and Uber, all making masks optional. News Force Juliana Valencia is at the Metro Center station this morning with a look at how riders are responding to this. Juliana? Hey there, Erica. You know, riders, they now have the option to mask up or not wear a mask. And we've been here during the morning rush. It's kind of subsided now. A, a train just left, so the platform, it was busy. Now it's not, but we're seeing kind of the same thing where most riders, they seem to be wearing the mask while some aren't. The morning rush at Metro Center. Metro officials saying they're encouraging customers to make decisions that are in their best interest, whether that's wearing a mask or not. I'm glad I think it's about time. It's ridiculous. I think it should be mandatory for a while longer on public transportation. On Monday, the transit agency had said it would continue to require masks on trains, buses, and in stations. Then yesterday evening, Metro announced it would make masks optional for riders and employees. Um, I think it's great that we don't have to wear the masks anymore. It's nice to be free and be able to show our smiles. <laughs> to wear masks for our safety. But being hard of hearing, these riders say no masks can help the deaf community communicate better. Struggle is a struggle sometimes because we have to remove our masks to relip and communicate with one another. Metro says the change is a result of the TSA suspending enforcement, while the Biden administration reviews a federal judge's ruling that mask mandates on public transit are unlawful. This rider came from Dulles Airport. I was traveling to Atlanta, and uh, most people were wearing masks at the airport. But other than that, it was like, you know, no masks. And there you have it. We have another live look here at the platform of Metro Center. It's that mix of masks and no masks. But again, that list of transportation companies offering the option to not wear a mask, it's growing with a list of several airlines. You have Amtrak, Mark, and the list goes on of the options where you don't have to wear a mask. Back to you. All right, Juliana Valencia live for us this morning. Juliana, thank you. Today, students